We have a game that we play uh, with artists, basically. And, you know, I know you had said it doesn't really sound that tough, but I promise you it is. We're going to play Great. Nintendo 64 Mario Kart. I'm going to pull up questions from a bag. Music you're missing branded bag, not bragging. Um, That's cool. <laughs> uh, we ask the question, and we have to answer it while playing. Are the questions, um, are they always the same? So that's the thing. It's the question. So normally, like for the interviews, we like to stick it to like music. These questions are thought provoking questions and sometimes they get deep. Hmm. Like we had one artist, uh, who do we have? Versace. We asked him what's something from his childhood that he would like, he still holds on to. So it really opens up a lot of, uh, Hmm. a lot of discussion. I'll be the judge of that. Three, two, one, and we're off. All right. My guy is Matt, not. I've got my first question for you, and it's... Wait, what? how are you still driving? <laughs> I'm holding A. Oh, I see. I what see, characteristic see. of yours has led to your success so far? I don't know. <laughs> I, your characteristic is... Mine would probably be the I fact that like, I don't factor in the fact that failure is an option. I forget, which one day will catch up to me crippling anxiety exactly yes search lean gang what is the one item you possess that you would run into a burning building to save item as in not humans yes i know you have a family um <laughs> that's too easy burning building man i'm thinking of all the items that mean something to me and none of them are worth burning for um i think probably like okay probably like a snack i really like <laughs> What would that snack be? Maybe like Dream Pops. Have you guys gotten into Dream Pops? What's a Dream Pop? It's this little little pint of like edible ice cream, but it's dairy free for my lactose intolerant self. Oh, wow. I'd probably cruise into a burning house to <laughs> grab. It's worth it. Do you grab know? The, the birthday cake flavor. At least you died doing what you love. Um, next question is what item from your childhood have you held on through through adulthood? Uh, I, I could actually answer this very well. Good. Alf, an Alf doll. Really? Yeah. Do you know who Alf is? Oh, Alf. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> he kind, uh, he kind of looks like a penis, <laughs> and he's brown, or his nose looks like a penis, not his entirety. And he's a really dirty doll, based on like early '90s TV show, maybe that I had. Okay. I, cu- I couldn't sleep without, and now um, I tried to pass it on to my daughter, but she's terrified of it. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Like, do, are you sad that she doesn't like it? She likes it, but she doesn't want it in her crib. Okay. So I feel like she respects it, but <laughs> I respect the fact that she wants nothing to do with Elf. That's nice. Yeah, it's a mutual. I'll have to Google it. I have a similar, I have a dog, I have a real dog named Douglas, but he was inspired by a fake dog named Douglas that I had growing up, and I still have him. I'm remembering all my tricks to get around. Uh, yeah, there's definitely here. some cheats here. Yeah. Um, if you went back in time and had to choose another career, what would you choose? Oh, it's over. Do we keep talking? Or <laughs> yeah, you, keep, you, okay. you can answer it. Um... I'd probably be a history teacher. Really? Yeah, I think that'd be cool. High school, middle school, elementary school? Probably high school or college. I would, yeah, I'd want, I would want older kids for sure. Yeah, less, at least annoying. <laughs> the ones I can relate to the most because yeah, I'm th- one of them. At least like one kid could have a conversation maybe at that point. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, we both did that. What did, what did I do? I think we were just too eager. We both hit play. Oh, that's dumb. All right, so for clarification, fine. That could have been a practice run. This time, I'm not I'm not playing around. I'm I mean, I suck. What moment in your life would you choose to relive and why? My birth. <laughs> why? <laughs> it, would, it would be nice to be present for it and more aware. Yeah, that is kind of like a... I feel like I really wasn't part of it. Yeah, I heard that. I heard you weren't really... <laughs> you weren't really that exciting at your birth. Yeah, um, yeah no, that's uh, that is kind of like a spiritual thing. I feel like we don't talk about. Uh, what are your opinions on ghosts? I don't know. Maybe. I uh, have probably. Yes, I've experience with one. Yeah, I know a lot of people have had experience. I, I think, I want to discount them, but they're probably real. I think that's a good way to put it. I don't. I mean, I hope they're not real. Well, I guess I kind of hope they're real. Because then, like, at least I know there's something after you die. But I also don't want to be haunted by a ghost. Yeah. I don't know if I want to be a ghost either, though. Yeah, that, that's kind of fucking weird. I think I would be a ghost if I could, like, terrorize people only. Um, next question is, how would your best friend describe you? Ah, oh, man. I don't know. That takes way too much insight. <laughs> um, mine would be just, like, kind of silly. I feel like I'm interviewing you because you have good answers for everything. Thank you. Yeah, uh, it would just be straight up mania, um, mania. but usually in a good sense. Uh, next question is, how do you respond to criticism? Shut the fuck up. 
I think uh, it depends who it's coming from. I'd say generally not well. Yeah. But with some space. After two hours, I could take it pretty well. Okay. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, end the stigma on not being told not to get offended by criticism. Of course, um, of course I'm offended, but I will <laughs> listen to it. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that was All pretty right. good. You got fourth. I got seventh. Fourth and seventh. Third right. and six. I could stop on that. That was great game. It's pretty good. I think I'm officially undefeated, though. I have actually, oh, really? every time we've had an artist, I've never lost. What do you think that says about you? That I'm a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> that this is these are my skill sets. Yeah, pulling pulling questions out of a bag, asking them, and then playing Nintendo sixty four. It is uh, it is specific. It yeah, I, it's hard to get a job beyond this because like on my resume, it's like Nintendo sixty four Pro, Final Cut Pro. Never heard of it. We're living in the future. <laughs> Microsoft you, Excel. You never know when that could very well be a true a job description. True, gaming is the uh, it, it's the future. Anyways, Matt, I really appreciate you coming in. Me. Obviously been a long time fan. I'm excited to see your show tonight. Thank you. Um, what should I expect? Disappointment. All right, well, I will be expecting nothing yeah. but disappointment. And yeah. from me as well, I want you to know that set I'm just going to just, I'm going to boo. Be <laughs> set the bar low, be surprised. Okay, you know. okay, exactly. All right, well, I'm stoked. Um, thank you again. Thank you so much. Woo!